Balietto, a shipyard that's been operational since 1854 with an astonishing history and a remarkable future. There's been a lot going on behind those walls in recent months and I'm here to tell you all about it. And one of the most significant changes at the shipyard is the arrival of a new chief commercial officer, a man of significant experience at the highest level of the yachting industry, Fabio Ermetto. Upon arrival, Fabio took me immediately to the office of the chief executive officer of Balietto, Diego Michele Di Prati. So it's a pleasure to see you again, Diego. The last time that we met, you were the CEO of the CCN shipyard. Now you're the CEO of Balietto. What's happening? It is charming and challenging the mission to whom I was called from the Gavio Group owner to move Baglietto in the process of merging the two shipyards of the group in the new scenery of the yacht industry today in a fast evolution and a reconfiguration in terms of design, technology and environment respect. Since the beginning of the century, the synonym of the yacht has been the Baglietto. And for a passionate of yachting like me, to be at the helm of this historic and purely Italian shipyard with origin in my land, it is an honor that gives to me the responsibility to contribute in leading the Italian nautical tradition in the world during the coming years. So I've only been here five minutes and already I've discovered that you've managed to secure Fabio Ermetto as the new Chief Commercial Officer, you're the new Chief Executive Officer. What other additions have been made to the team? Yes, the, the new team is composed by very well-known people in this industry. Fabio Ermetto, that is the Chief Commercial Officer. Then uh, we have uh, Luca Ghirlanda, the Chief Operational Officer and the historical figure in the yard, that is the technical director, and my friend Guido Penko. It sounds like you're putting together an absolute dream team of yachting. So now that you've got that team, what's the vision for the future? The vision of Baglietto is to consolidate and locate the brand in the position it deserves. As per its tradition, then we will move on a green direction for sure, which uh, will be electric uh, and not only in the future. A future where uh, our target is to build uh, the best Baglietto yacht, uh, which it will be always uh, the next one. Excellent, thank you so much for your time, I appreciate that. Thank you. We are now in our headquarters in uh, La Spezia shipyards and we are now in our new sheds. We have uh, three brand new sheds. The last one has been uh, uh, opened and in operation uh, just uh, uh, since a few months ago. And all these sheds are occupied, as you can see, with the yachts under construction of different size. The sheds can, uh, can have yachts uh, up to 70 meters and uh, you have met also uh, some members of the new team. Uh, so those sheds together with the new team, together with the many other uh, uh, things that we're gonna discuss later are part of a major investment, a major improvement plan realized by our shareholders. So here you're building the larger yachts. Here we build the larger yachts. And what other facilities do you have? We have a second facility in Carrara, 20 minutes from here, where we build yachts up to 45 meters. Uh, and also we have our dedicated uh, sheds for military operation there. Due to our, to our plans, due to the great team that we are trying to put together, uh, we are also looking to improve our facility here in La Spezia and uh, to enlarge the facility and to build another shed to accommodate uh, the yachts which uh, we are going to build according to our plan. Perfect, perfect. And how do you get the yachts from here to launch them in the ocean? Let me show you our travel lift outside. Excellent, thanks Please. very much. When we arrived at the dock, Fabio invited me on board one of the yachts in delivery there, where we met another one of the key personnel at Baglietto, who has been there for many years and has been a major influence in their success, the technical director of Baglietto, Guido Penco. So Guido, it's an absolute pleasure to meet you. You've been with Baglietto for a long time. You've seen a lot of changes happen in the company. 
What changes can you see happening right now? The main changes uh, we uh, afford recently, let's say in the last uh, four or five years, are the study of the new alternative propulsion system, of course on the green side, and particularly the uh, hybrid, what we call hybrid or full hybrid uh, system on board. We started with uh, full hybrid propulsion uh, with a new building uh, studied uh, four years ago and built uh, already sailing uh, by two years now. And uh, after this uh, first experience, uh, we will not stop, of course, on this, but we are still studying uh, improvement of this kind of, in particular, on the battery source of power. That is the, the heart of the, of the full hybrid system. In case of hybrid, we have uh, three sources of power. The traditional one, diesel propulsion engine, the main engine for propulsion. Then on the same shaft line, we fit an electric engine. Let me take you back for a second to that subject of the hybrid propulsion. For my benefit and for the benefit of the viewers, can you tell me step by step how that works? The system works uh, as a traditional, a very traditional propulsion system, first of all. So diesel engine on the shaft line, as any yacht until now. Then we have a second, an alternative, like an electric motor on the same shaft, on the same propulsion shaft. Electric motor, of course, fed by diesel generating sets of electric power, or alternative by batteries. So we have a possibility to sail only in diesel electric or absolutely only in electric with battery feeding the electric engine. In case the other propulsion system are working, of course, the electric motor works as shaft generator, so giving back power to the ship, to the battery, to the system. So when you have a, an alternative propulsion system, what challenges do you face with the classification societies? Which classification societies do you work with? We started with our first new building, uh, full hybrid. We started with Lloyd Register. And at that time, or during the design of the ship, it was uh, almost four years ago, the rules about how to install and to manage this, uh, in particular, the battery system on board, were not uh, well defined and very clear. So we studied together via a risk assessment, together with Lloyds, about this uh, to establish the rules that uh, later all the classification society share and now we have uh, fixed the rules, in particular how to manage the system. The yacht we completed two years ago has been the first fully classed with hybrid class notation by Lloyds in Italy. Up to this point, we'd really only seen about half of the surface area of the shipyard in La Spezia though. And Fabio took me over to a large area where well-known Baglietto yachts were benefiting from their service facilities. It was here that we met the new Chief Operations Officer, Luca Ghirlanda. So Luca, such a pleasure to, to meet you. Fabio showed me earlier the fantastic new sheds that you've got, and I can see yachts all over the place in various stages of construction. You're the Chief Operations Officer, so can you tell me what operations are going on around us now? Yes, we are, uh, we are uh, in uh, construction with eight units, uh, and we have uh, one of them in specula on speculation, another one that we will put in on speculation next month. The boat under delivery are four yachts. One is already delivered before the season, and three are uh, on delivery in uh, this month before Christmas, after Christmas. Even if the COVID period uh, was really difficult for uh, production uh, timing uh, and respect of the schedule, uh, we uh, fix uh, this point in order to reach in time, in quality, and uh, with a really strong uh, team to reach the quality in the time. So this is uh, the best goal for us. And now you have this uh, dynamic new team. You've got Fabio, your chief commercial officer, who's a living legend in the industry, keen to bring new clients to build their yachts at Baglietto. At what point will you tell him he's got to stop? What's your production capacity? The capacity uh, will, uh, that uh, we are be able to reach uh, is uh, 10 units, uh, 10 yachts in the same time uh, under construction, including uh, the two military one. 
uh, and we have the goal, the aim to reach uh, a four or five delivery for year, uh, only for the same reason of before, to reach the boat in time, delivery time correct and in quality correct, in quality level correct, because this is uh, the first uh, thing, the first uh, uh, aim of the shipyard, in my opinion. Thanks, Luca, that was a real pleasure talking to you. Fabio, you said that they do good coffee in the offices, didn't you? Indeed. Yes, <laughs> Thanks. <laughs>
rispetto ai modelli precedenti abbiamo lavorato in due zone principali quella del frame bridge in raccordo alla parte frontale di, della timoneria, quindi l'upper deck, creando una zona di vani collegata da una passerella, da una scala che porta dal fly all'upper deck. Questo per dare una continuità alla zona aperta e per rendere più fruibile dall'esterno la zona di prua, che tendenzialmente è poco vissuta perché è difficilmente raggiungibile da chi sta uh, a bordo. Quindi abbiamo creato questa connessione abbiamo creato rispetto agli altri modelli nella zona invece poppiera della per deck una zona veranda con tutta la parte uh, del salone a per deck um, con um, porte a vetro uh, pieghevoli questo per renderla aperta o chiusa a seconda delle esigenze e del tempo a poppa ulteriormente abbiamo lavorato per cercare di dare un po' come avviene in questo momento sul mercato, una poppa a digradare verso il mare, ehm, cercando di avere uno stile, eh, degli stilemi un po' più baglietto, cioè non mostrare la piscina come un qualcosa di magnificenza, ma un, soltanto una piscina che svolge la sua funzione quando è utilizzata, quindi si abbassa la coperta, si riempie la piscina, quando è finita si ripristina la coperta. Un'altra cosa che abbiamo fatto è scendendo nella parte finale della spiaggetta una falchetta che ruota e che quindi diventa plancetta sul mare di fronte a due zone prendi sole. Quindi il rapporto col mare abbiamo cercato di uh, aumentarlo. Questi sono i tre elementi principali. Sulla linea abbiamo cercato di renderla ancora più pulita mantenendo però un riferimento agli stilemi precedenti delle altre marche rinnovandoli un po' come avviene nell'automotive quando si passa da un modello presente a studiare un modello per il futuro. Per Fast abbiamo lavorato, visto l'imponenza dello scafo che aveva generato il 46 metri Fast, uh, Lucky Me, um, abbiamo cercato di estendere, pur rimanendo sotto le 500 tonnellate di stazza, abbiamo cercato di aumentare l'effetto di allungamento della barca eh, tirandola a poppa e a prua e mantenendola il più bassa possibile. Uh, questo per cercare di rendere le linee uh, più bilanciate rispetto al volume. Abbiamo creato un fly maggiore rispetto alla versione precedente, lo abbiamo aumentato di un terzo in più proprio per cercare di dare spazio a quello che era un fly molto ridotto su 46 fast la prima, la prima volta e nella zona invece a scafo abbiamo aumentato le proporzioni della beach. Questo un po' per uh, dare la possibilità agli armatori o di configurare il garage come garage o realmente come beach aperta su tre lati. Abbiamo lavorato anche su aumentare le dimensioni della sala macchine per accogliere uh, la parte ibrida che è un aspetto che la Baglietto sta considerando con molta attenzione in questo momento, anzi sta decidendo di iniziare a produrre tutte le proprie unità con la versione ibrida. Questo perché, perché la direzione del mercato del futuro porta a, a questo sviluppo della tecnologia ibrida. Uh, mentre per quanto riguarda il super fast, allora lì siamo partiti su uno scafo uh, disegnato da un ingegnere molto famoso e ci ha dato la possibilità di, uh, viste le forme dello scafo molto prestazionale per il Water Jet, ci ha permesso di lavorare uh, su forme più compatte, più sportive, creando un cupolino molto, uh, molto diciamo, lavorato nelle sue sezioni trasversali e in quella longitudinale, uh, creando un cockpit uh, più da Formula 1 uh, che da barca, uh, creando quindi degli effetti di winglets uh, che, che ci piaceva dare per enfatizzare l'effetto di forza, di prestazione, di potenza e abbiamo marcato in maniera definitiva il profilo con delle lame quelle della reazione eh, diciamo, utilizzando delle pellicole cromate perché abbiamo tenuto conto anche della leggerezza della barca ma che sono l'elemento sul profilo più importante. Thank you very much for your time Francesco. 
when we discussed what to call this video, the name Balietta Wave was forwarded, and that really resonated with me, as I'm sure it will with you. A wave is forward moving, it's dynamic, nothing stands in its way. But also, the waves of the ocean are constantly changing the landscape around us. Now, the landscape at Balietto is certainly changing, and with new projects and exciting new team, I'm quite sure nothing will stand in their way.